port, we can uh, can see the valve moving in there and uh, see all the way around the valve now. It looks really quite good. There's no pitted area. I think we can uh, lap this and be successful. So the trick will be to thread the needle, get the grinding compound on there. And we uh, only want the grinding compound on the areas we want it on. We don't want it to uh, get in other places that it shouldn't be. So, that's looking good. Okay, we have our valve grinding compound on the valve that we've applied. Well, we think we uh, accomplished something here, but here comes the true test. We're going to, once again, compare the compression on what we know is a good jug with the jug that we just did. Uh, so let's do that right now. Here's, uh, here's number four, cylinder number four. It has good compression. One more time. All right, that sounds pretty good. It feels pretty good. Pressure on the prop feels about right. So now let's take a look at number three up here. This is the one we just did. and. Uh, I wouldn't expect it to be as strong as it will be. Uh, it will probably get better. There may be some uh, particles of grinding compound still left in there that uh, might allow it to not fully close or, or it might leak a little bit. But uh, we've done our best to clean it out. We have improved the compression and uh, we think it will get better as the engine.